So I've been coming to NAB and IBC for over a decade, and I've always been wanting to be the guy who's been on the stand that's like, that's that thing you have to see. We're that thing this year. Hi there. This is our virtual attic, and you can see that it is being rendered in real time on the LED screens behind me. So what we're doing is we're taking tracking data, in this case from the Stipe Red Spy system that's mounted on the camera, and that's feeding into the Disguise Media Server. We're then reading that positional data, and we're using that to render content from the perspective of the camera. We're then pushing that content onto these LED screens in real time, in the same position as the camera can see. And what that gives us is this mixed reality space. So I see mixed reality as another string in the bow of the creative professional who wants to make something special for a new environment where suddenly you want to make the real stage fall away and you're presented with a completely new world. The world that we come from is the world in which we have to get very complex assemblies of LED and projection and lights all working with very short turnaround times, very short setup times. To do that, you need to choreograph everything, adjusting the content, having the feedback from the camera lens so you know where the camera is, so you can adjust the perspective of the content. It's a lot of moving pieces. The special source that we have to allow us to do that is Previs. Uh, and the theory there is we simulate everything in 3D, we visualize everything in 3D in real time, and all departments work with that previs. So the things you need to know about mixed reality are, number one, there's no green screen, right? So if you're a presenter or a performer or an actor, you're inside, you're immersed inside the environment. I can see everything that's happening around me. With the ability to perspective project onto the real stage, we're able to give the talent on stage the ability to react to the content, to be able to see what's happening, to find their mark, to find sight lines, and to make everything feel a bit more real and connected. I was surprised at how well I was able to adapt and play off of a virtual object because I was able to see it. Hey, calm, calm down. Number two is it's a real-time engine, so you can make changes on the fly, you can drop in new studio or set or environments at the drop of a hat. Number three, augmented reality, so you can plant augmented reality items into the foreground and actually see where they sit on the LED. Mixed reality setup is very scalable. It can be anywhere from a locked-off camera with a plasma screen TV all the way up to a custom-designed jib arm with tracking dots everywhere and hundreds of feet of LED and anywhere in between those two extremes. I think there's a lot of possibilities in the live event world and in the experiential world, right, where you can bring mixed reality to your event, immersing your audience in new, more intimate environments. I think live entertainment is the interesting thing. So for esports, for a lot of different things where you have new onstage experiences, bringing something like this into that is great. The promise of this technology is that you can use the LED screens and the fixtures that are around the talent to create this virtual world that appears on the big iMag screens in a live environment. And so I believe that this has application anywhere you have cameras and, and people in a large audience. That's going to be an interesting journey that we take with disguise, with designers, with producers, creative directors. This kind of like big foray and big splash into broadcast is a brand new thing. And I think what's really exciting for me is this is just the start. This technology has got so far to go.